sunny out for a good period today, mm -hmm. and then we've got those showers. Mm -hmm. Same again. Yeah, it's always interesting in the springtime. It's kind of a roller coaster. I mean, you can have those showers, but then there, there's the sun, and it's kind of fun. So. I like that better than the term whiplash. I like the roller okay. coaster. <laughs> yeah, okay, but we'll keep with that. But right now, where it is dry? is a seaside area, <laughs> Lisa. Um, actually saw some blue skies a little bit earlier out there. It's 51 degrees. Plenty of folks out there enjoying the coast on this Sunday. Vancouver, plenty of clouds above where it's 54 degrees. West winds right now at eight miles per hour, but fairly dry at the moment. As far as how much rain we've seen since midnight, not as much measurable rain here in the greater Portland area, but you make your way out to the coast and earlier today, that's when they were seeing the rain. So Tillamook, Astoria, nearly a quarter of an inch, but here in Portland, we're at 55 degrees. Clouds are going to be the theme for us this evening. Could see a sprinkle here and there, but we start to really dry out in the next couple of hours throughout the valley. Uh, our winds right now at the northwest at seven miles per hour. So calm winds here, but you make your way out to the gorge. The Dow's a bit breezy out there with 16 miles per hour gusts. Corvallis, Eugene at 12 miles. Hey, for our daytime highs, well, unofficially, we got up to 57 degrees, as did Salem. So just a few degrees below that normal high for us here in PDX. Uh, Central Oregon in the mid-50s, up and down our shoreline, low to mid-50s today. Government camp, it is 38 degrees. They have seen this snow rain mix, so wet roadways at the moment. But let me tell you, we have seen a lot of mountain snow in the last couple of days this weekend. Plenty of snow. In Timberline, the big winner, eight new inches within the last 24 hours. Skill, ski Bowl seeing seven new inches. Over the next couple days, just expecting still some mountain snow, but then by midweek, that's when we'll see those snow levels rise back up to about 6,000 feet. For us here in Portland, we do have a pattern change happening, uh, and right by the middle part of our week, that's when the drier and warmer conditions will make their way here to PDX. For our upcoming week, honestly, not that wet. So basically, we've got those isolated showers Tuesday and Thursday. And whenever you see isolated showers, you can think of just a few sprinkles out there before those scattered showers return on Friday. We time this out tonight. Still a possibility of a few showers up and down the valley. But by late tonight, we really start to dry out. Mostly cloudy for us in our Monday morning commute. And by the time we start to get ready for the partial eclipse viewing, mostly cloudy across our state. We keep with the clouds as we head into Tuesday. And by Tuesday morning, that's when those isolated showers could happen across the valley and out there on the coast. So just a hit or miss shower expected uh, tonight and then Tuesday. Monday is fairly dry, but by the time we get to Monday morning at 8.30, from now we could see nearly another tenth of an inch of rain. Scattered showers in the afternoon and evening for the coast tomorrow as the highs range from the low 50s to mid 50s. The valley will see mid 50s for the most part coming up tomorrow. And there is that possibility of a sprinkle, but mainly dry Monday before we see those isolated showers Tuesday. But most people are looking at these two days, Wednesday and Thursday, Lisa, uh, mainly dry days and getting back into the upper or mid 60s.